What's up everyone? This video is all about the pros and cons of living right here in Dallas, Texas, so stay tuned. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Richard Soto, a local real estate broker with VIP Realty right here in Dallas, Texas. If this is your first time to our channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, playing, and working in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, make sure to tap that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time we drop a new video. Today, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you and discuss all the pros and cons what I love and what I hate about living in Dallas, Texas. I know a little bit about living in Dallas, Texas since I've lived here my entire life. So I'm just gonna be completely honest with you and just cover all the positives and the negatives as well. And let's start off with the cons. The first con is traffic. I feel like there's constant construction throughout the Metroplex everywhere I go. So it could be a four lane highway, turns into two, worst case turns into one. Uh, so there's constant traffic, so that's definitely a con. We're not like LA, but I feel like we're getting close with all the influx of new people moving to the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. And two is, I guess it's a con as well, you have to have a vehicle. You're going to have to have a car because Dallas-Fort Worth is so spread out. Anytime you have to drive somewhere, I feel like anytime I have to go to the grocery store, the gym, to kids' activities, I'm at least gonna be driving 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, and that's one way. So you're definitely gonna have to have a vehicle. And like I said, it's a very spread out city. It's not very walkable, which is also a con. You're pretty much going to have to drive to all your activities or appointments, it's not gonna be within walking distance the majority of the time. And another con is tolls. I feel like anytime I'm on the highway, I am going to have to pay a toll. Um, you can try to <laughs> get around paying tolls by taking a service road or taking the back roads, but I find that it's just not worth the effort. If it's a 15 minute ride or drive with tolls, you're probably looking at triple or quadruple the time trying to avoid paying the tolls. So for me, my time is very valuable. So I don't even look at my credit card statement because I know there's gonna be a significant amount of tolls being applied each and every month to my credit card bill, uh, which is unfortunate, but that's just part of it if you're living here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Another con is public transportation. Dallas doesn't rank very high in the public transportation department, and to make matters worse, it's not the most reliable in the country either. And as I stated earlier, Dallas isn't a very walkable city. So you might be able to take the dark rail into downtown for different attractions, but if you're having to catch the city buses, you might have to switch buses multiple times to get to your final destination. So we're definitely not as advanced as some parts of the country when it comes to the public transportation. The next con is the weather. And to me, it's the worst thing about living here in Dallas, Texas. First of all, we have bipolar weather. You could have snow, sunshine, rain, sleet, ice, all in the same day. It's pretty crazy. Um, I don't know if any other parts of the country are this way, but honestly, it could be extremely cold and then 85, 90 degrees several hours later. So it's pretty bipolar uh, in regards to the weather here in Dallas. But the worst part, it is extremely hot during the summertime. I mean, it's almost unbearable. It is terrible, terrible, terrible. I cannot stand the heat during the summertime. Um, I'll put it to you this way. If I go to our office, I make sure to park underground. If I go to the mall, it needs to have a parking garage uh, where I can park inside. Otherwise, I'm not going. 
That's why I refuse to go to the grocery store during the summertime and I have my groceries delivered because I sweat profusely. I can tell you this because we're all family and friends, so it's okay. But if I park at one end of the parking lot and I have to walk for three to four minutes, I am going to be sweating profusely. You would think I just ran a whole basketball game for the last 30 minutes outside somewhere. So to me, the biggest con of living in Dallas is absolutely the heat. I feel like the house is gonna somehow fall into the ground because it's so hot. Um, so that's to me the worst con. And now we're gonna go into the pros. And without question, there's a lot more pros than cons of living in Dallas, Texas. And the first pro is opportunities. If you're looking for a career change or you're looking to move up in your career, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're trying to start a business, this might be the best place in the country for you to do so. There are a lot of large corporations relocating to Dallas nearly on a monthly basis. New startups are being formed here. So if you're a go-getter and you're looking for opportunities, whether it's by starting your own company and business or taking your career to a higher level, Dallas is the perfect place for you to be at. Another pro is diversity. I love the fact that there are so many people from all over the world relocating right here to Dallas. I have a basketball program and I have kids from all over the place, all different countries. A lot, of, some of them don't even understand what I'm telling them, which is great. So I love the diversity here. If you're looking for friends from different parts of the country, you most likely will be able to find them here in Dallas. Another pro is the DFW International Airport. I love that we're central right here in the US and pretty much my kids and I can fly anywhere within two to three hours. We can be in Mexico in three hours, we can be in New York, we can be in California, we can be in Miami. So Dallas is very central and we have great flight prices right here at the DFW International Airport. So if you and your family enjoy travel and you're gonna be going to different locations, whether on vacation or business, this is also a great hub for you to live at. Another pro is attractions. We have a ton of attractions for you and your family, whether it's Six Flags, dozens of different museums, some are free, some you have to pay for, zoo, I mean, everything you could ever want there's an attraction that you can go and visit each and every weekend. Sports as well, I would consider an attraction. We got every professional team under the sun, whether it's the Dallas Cowboys, the Mavericks, Texas Rangers, Dallas Stars, and so on. Tons of attractions, and there's always something for you to do with you and your family each and every weekend. So if you like to get out and about and get out of the house like we do, you'll find something happening each and every weekend right here in Dallas. Next is real estate. You can still purchase a great home at a great value. How long that's gonna last, I'm not sure because we have people flooding from all over the world to Dallas because of the opportunity, because of the real estate, because of the cost of living, um, and again, because it's central. So real estate as of now is still a good value, and you can get quite a bit more for your money than most parts of the country. Saying that, I don't know how long it's gonna last. We have a gentleman that's moving from California. He's in the 350 price range. He's literally put 10 offers in the last two weeks or so, and he has, bid, he has been outbid each and every time. I'm sure he's frustrated with us, but that just shows you how great the market is. Um, we finally got something under contract yesterday, and yes, of course, he had to pay over asking price, um, but real estate is still a great value if you're looking to relocate here to Dallas. And last is the people. Southern hospitality is a real thing in Dallas, Texas. People are so nice and kind to you. Uh, I just moved into a new subdivision. The neighbors all came out. They gave my kids cookies. They brought some food baskets, but that's pretty much everywhere you go. Uh, schools, I'll put it to you this way. 
Uh, when I was in high school, my dad had a quadruple bypass surgery. He had a heart attack. Uh, I was raised by a single dad. I had multiple people try to take me in. And they didn't do it just to act like they were good citizens. They did it out of love. Uh, I had my football coach. He offered for me to move in with him. My other coach, I had several other families. I ended up moving in with the Richies. Uh, thank you, Mr. and Miss Richie. Uh, really great, greatly appreciate you and I'll never forget that. But point being is, there's a lot of people here in Dallas that are very kind and friendly and will be there to support you and help you, whether they're your neighbor or they're at your church, whatever the case is, great people in Dallas are not very far away. So that's probably my favorite thing about living in Dallas is just, it's just the people. The majority of people are great. Um, now going back to a condo, there are some jerks in Dallas as well. If you are driving 55 on the highway and you're holding up traffic, because traffic is a con, they might try to run you over with their big diesel truck or what have you. Then again, I might do that as well because I'm trying to get places. So there are definitely some cons. However, there are many more pros about living in Dallas, Texas. If you or your family have any questions about Dallas, Texas, we have offices throughout the state and we'd be happy to assist you with your next real estate transaction. We get calls on a daily basis from people from all over the country relocating to Dallas and we absolutely love it. So if we can help you, please let us know. Give us a call, visit our website, and we will see you in the next video.